science fans, and welcome to Shein Shop. Our topic for today is how to make a killer presentation. Whether you're doing it for a proposal presentation, a thesis defense, or a conference presentation, there are some key tips to make sure that you have an awesome presentation. Before your actual presentation, make sure that you know what you're talking about. Put to heart three core concepts. What you want to do, why it's worth doing, and how you plan to do it. Hi, I'm Shauna. I want to create an efficient method to alter the genes of monocot plants, specifically a baka. This is important because we need plant varieties that are resistant to the continuously evolving pathogens that affect our crops, including the abaca bunchy pop virus. I plan on doing this by modifying the parameters in published protocols of the biolistics method and finding the most effective set for a specific tissue type. As spontaneous as you want your presentation to seem like, it is still best to have a plan. Storyboarding allows you to make a visual representation of how you want your presentation to go by breaking down the flow per slide. So, how am I gonna do this presentation? Should I just read the title or maybe go straight to my pitch? They can read the title anyway. Oh, I should mention my lab and my advisor. Oh no, this slide still has empty space. Maybe I should put a picture of an actual abaca plant? Oh, I should also highlight the developmental stage where the plant is most vulnerable to the virus. Okay, so here, I talk about the mode of infection. Maybe it's relatedness to other viruses? Oh, maybe I should talk about its effect on the livelihood of farmers too. Considering the length of your research, there won't be enough time for you to talk about everything. So make sure to highlight only what is important. For your background of the study, what are the key points? Make sure to emphasize your objectives clearly and take time to discuss your scope and limitation. I only have 15 minutes for my presentation. So, what should I highlight? For the background, I should talk about the biology of abaca, at least those most related to the topic, the abaca bunch top virus and its impact and mode of infection, and then maybe how the biolistics method works in introducing new genes. For my objective, instead of reading it out, I should discuss the logic behind it and how I plan to achieve it. And then for the scope and limitations, um, I should talk about why I'm only using one variety and why that variety, the selection of parameters I'll be altering and its implications on the number of test runs I'll need to do. Oh, and I should also talk about what a callus is and why I need to use it. Make sure to know your audience as well. Learn about their expertise, their previous projects, and publications, as these will help you brush up on possible questions they will ask. And take the time to rehearse over and over and over. By the time of your presentation, you should have gravitas, you should be relaxed, and you should have fun. Enunciate your words properly. You don't want to speak too fast, but you don't want to speak too slow either. Make eye contact with your audience, but don't stare. Modulate your voice. To make sure that your voice is at its best, <clears throat> make sure to warm up your voice. Know when to pause so you don't stretch your breath. Make sure to have water around so your throat does not go dry. Don't hesitate to lighten the mood by putting in a joke, a pun, or maybe even a meme. The effectiveness of your humor depends greatly on your audience, though. And lastly, do not read directly from your paper, the slides, or even your note cards. This will look like you didn't prepare enough for your presentation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to learn something about the proper way to do a presentation. If you want to see more science goodness from this channel, please give this video a thumbs up and also follow Shiensha. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact me, your resident Filipina scientist, through the comments section below. 
Thank you very much and see you around!